For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Teams. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing the man. She's as always got a brand new video today about NFL 2K, which is a game that a lot of people were waiting for for a very long time. A lot of people had very high hopes for, hoping that this game would save them from EA and from Madden. Well, the game just dropped yesterday the first day of spring or something like that it was supposed to come out and it just came out out of nowhere in a very uh, odd it's kind of a quiet uh, release well if you want to play this game you can play it right now but the problem is you can't play it on consoles and you can't play it on the computer this is straight to android this is straight to iphone this is a game that you can play on your phone or on your mobile device maybe on a tablet or something like that i'm sure uh but it's not the game that a lot of people were expecting a lot of people that really wanted this game to be something that competed with madden even if it wasn't as well done graphically i think a lot of people were hoping for something a little bit more than this uh but you're looking at live footage i recorded this on my phone i played the game a little bit just so i give you guys a little bit of a review about it but before i get into the video as always if you guys want to see more videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section now when you start the game out as you can see here it gives you a free pack to fill out a team because obviously you can't play the game without a team uh, and all the players that you get are well pretty well known players I mean if you if you follow the NFL at all I'm sure you know names like Joey Bosa and Justin Fields and you know there's really not a lot of like bronze bums like I get TJ Watt there there's not a lot of bronze bums like you would see uh, when you first start a mutt team which is like a lot of backups I mean I got guys like Sauce Gardner Honey Badger um, you know all types of players that really uh, you know the name value is definitely there the name recognition is definitely there so from that perspective i thought it was pretty cool um playing the game a little bit i really didn't see anything in regards to um like how to buy packs or anything like that because typically when i see things like this i see games that are all based around packs i right away imagine that it's a pay to win game and they're going to try to you know nickel and dime you to death um, especially since it's a free mobile game, which is essentially what it is. So I went ahead and I played a couple games, um, and it was really not what I expected at all. If you were expecting this game to be similar to the original 2K or similar to Madden, number one, you don't even play full games. You only play a single drive, and it seems to be on offense every single time, which I really didn't understand considering that you have a defense. But all you really do in red zone drive anyway, because I tried to play that and I tried to play a season game, and it really felt the exact same way, is you really just get placed at the 20 or the 25 yard line. And then it becomes like similar to like Magic the Gathering, where you're basically just choosing plays or choosing what cards to use. Um, in an attempt to score a touchdown or maybe not score a touchdown. I, don't, I didn't really see what happened. It was kind of easy to score a touchdown, so I really didn't see what would happen if I didn't score. But all you're really doing in this game mode is it gives you several options, several cards, uh, and then you choose which one you want based off like the most likely outcome. But you never actually control the players. So that's probably the biggest disconnect from people that like to play Madden or like to play you know, similar games like 2K in the past or whatever. There's no actual controlling of the players. You're basically just choosing plays and then the computer does the rest and you're basically just like watching like a mini movie. But you can see based off of the cards here, you have you know negative five yards versus plus 20 yards and then you also have like the probability rating which is like you know you probably want to go for anything over 50 percent like i didn't want to go with something that was only 26 percent that really didn't make a lot of a lot of you know didn't make a lot of sense so i went with the safe bet in the uh you know the zero yards or the three to four yards you know that really made the most sense because you have three downs and i really didn't know what i was doing but ultimately, you know, you're not really controlling anything. You're just basically watching the players do everything, which is probably not what most Madden players wanted to hear. Now, once you pick your play, the defense chooses their play, and then you get like some sort of probability matchup. I mean, since I guess I picked run, since the defense picked run as well, that knocks the percentage of it going to be successful down 10%. But then they also match the players involved. And since I have like a gold card in Rashad Penny, which doesn't make a ton of sense uh, for him to be a gold card that increases my chances 15 percent because it's so much better than my opponent's team now that gives me a 56 percent chance i think anything over 50 is pretty much going to work out although i think later in this drive i get one with less than 50 percent it still works out but you can see how the players that are going to be involved in the play get highlighted and then i basically i get my four yard run uh which is cool you know what i mean like if i can do that three times i'm going to get a first down and that's basically what this is now i reviewed a game earlier in the year that i don't remember the name of it 
Um, I got the game for free. I think it was uh, a wild card football. It's very similar in setup to wild card football, minus the fact that you actually get to control the players. In wild card football, you actually get to control the players. You choose the plays, and then you actually get to control the players, which is kind of typical of all uh, football games, but this one not so much. As you can see here, I picked a pass play on the next play, and we get a very big uh, catch and run, which I think was a little bit higher than uh, what was expected there, uh, which happens a couple times because I actually score the same way where I get a higher than expectation uh, run. I think it was this one here where it was actually uh, with a backup running back because I guess my running back got tired. But you can see that the, um, you know, I don't have over, I have 43% chance of this working and it still works out as I score from several yards in. So the probability rating is pretty accurate, but I found this to be kind of strange because, you know, I, I looked like I could have scored from anywhere on that run the way that was going. And then you can see when I score, I also get plus three like cards and stuff like that, which, you know, if you like to play Mutt because you like to build your team and you like to play, uh, for cards and stuff like that that's probably like the coolest part of this game if i'm being honest is the actual cards you can see here i earned eight picks in uh, what they call draft picks which is kind of cool um uh, because like i said it was kind of neat I, I do remember getting um pretty quickly i think after the second game i got a gold tyree kill but at the end of the day, like things like that, and you can see how you can automatically, um, you know, drafting card you already have basically increases it. So Cooper Cup goes up, which is pretty cool. Um, and then these playmaker cards, obviously, that's when you get like gold players. Like I got uh, Tariq Woolen, uh, which is another gold card. So it's like the card part is cool, but not actually being able to use them. Like it really doesn't help. Like having a, you know, having a Tariq Woolen and not actually being able to use them doesn't really make a lot of sense. Because like I said, I played two games and I never even got to defense. So I don't even know what to make of that. But it was kind of cool. Like I said, the card part was probably the coolest part. This I could see this being something like if you're at work all day or something and you just want to mess around, this might be a fun game. But for the most part, it's just a huge bummer for people that were hoping that this game would come out and compete with Madden on some level and give them some secondary option. And you can see now, because the majority of the stuff I heard was it was going to be some sort of arcade game like this and not an actual game that competes with Madden. That's why I didn't spend a lot of time talking about it. As you can see here, this is not the type of game that I think my audience or any console uh, fan-based audience would want to play as it's really just collecting cards. And like I said, it's like Magic the Gathering. You're basically just like choosing uh, outcomes or most likely outcomes, which really isn't uh, a ton of fun in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end the video there. It's just a quick video to let you guys know this game is out. And if I were to give it a review rating, I would say, like I said, it's it's fun to pass the time if you're traveling somewhere or if you're stuck at work or something, you might have a good time playing this game. But for the most part, it's just, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I didn't actually see any uh, ability to spend actual currency or actual real money, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere, or else they wouldn't be making any money off of this. But at the end of the day, I just don't see the value in this game uh, for people that uh, like to play console Madden games or console football games, because this is a game that, um, you know, it just seems, I'm sure on some level it's a cash grab, <laughs> because, I mean, at some level, I'm sure you're, you're going to be playing actual players like real life people i would imagine although i really didn't spend enough time into it to figure that out uh because even season games i mean it was just a preseason game that i played but even that it was still just one drive from the 15 and that was it and uh, like i said it says introduction to offense so i would imagine that once you get through the introductory phase you're probably going to be playing a little bit more um you know full games i would hope uh, but the introduction was just kind of was kind of bland and, you know, it didn't really seem like the type of game I'd want to play anyway. But I just want to let my audience know that this game is out. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, when games like this come out, I'm going to be spending way more time on NCAA when that drops, considering that's an actual console game. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.